I just got back from a much needed long vacation. I took off for two weeks, went to Ukraine, Poland, just kind of check that out, relax. And figured I'd give you guys an update on what's going on now that I'm back. Had a little meeting with Eric and the whole team here, figure out what's happened while I've been gone because I really put my phone aside and just kind of relax, get away from things. Coming back is exciting. So to start with, we've got a few truck sales confirmed. So that's awesome news. The sales guys managed to do that. Still waiting on three more to get it, but we're getting there. Uh, we did some battery sales. So our battery packs that we use in our trucks, we've now sold to some companies that they've just wanted to buy the batteries directly. And we've got another few more lined up. So the battery sales themselves are starting to become their own side of the business. So that's exciting. Uh, with the BC Securities Commission, we finalized some stuff going that so we can start our next round of investment funding probably in the next month or two. So Eric is able to work with the lawyers, get all that kind of set. Up, so we're going to be moving ahead with that. People asking about investments. That's what that is. We just got to make sure it's all set up right correctly. The truck right now is they're going through it in Ontario. Progress is going good there. They're testing electrical systems. Last two weeks they've been going through the low voltage system, checking all that out for redundant features and high voltage, low voltage, and they've just started on the high voltage wiring now. Oh, we our CAD guy, our draftsman has been doing some 3D simulations on stress, and that's been going pretty well for our production. So he's just been running through all those kind of simulations. Our service truck, Dan the mechanic has got the exhaust and the bunk doors fixed. He's got the service body bolted on. We're working on the full parts list for the next trucks, getting an entire parts computer program where when we select a truck, it'll pre-build it. We're working with a university and there's a, some students working on as a capstone project on that. So we're integrating our parts list with a way to select order forms when you go through a truck. The light towers, on a separate note, they we're adding a generator to our light towers to make our solar light towers into hybrids, since hybrids really what we do. There were some issues where people want to be able to pull more power than just the solar alone can provide in the winter time, so we're bringing a hybrid option. We've upgraded the faceplate, and then the circuit board on the back end has been getting it. There's a guy that has a shop. He wants to be able to install, retrofit it. He works directly with a mine. This mine wants to buy one of our trucks. We've had a few meetings. They want to put our one of our hybrid trucks onto their mine hall. It's up in Quinell. So this Matt already does all the services for the shop and he's worked with us before. You've probably seen him in one of the previous videos. Yeah, I'm Matt with Boston Equipment out of Quinell. And you're uh, doing what here? Well, I just so happened to show up today and got put to work. So doing a mechanical inspection over the truck before it goes out. Um, Red Seal Journeyman Heavy Duty Mechanic. He's come down here many times to help us out. And it just happens that he has the shop that does the maintenance for the mine. The mine then reached out to say that they want a truck totally separate of this. And it's just a super weird coincidence that works so perfectly well together. It's almost like it's fate. And then we are putting, working on the pickup kit. We are working on locking down a price range for it. We've kind of got the kit spec'd. We're going to have a 4 by 4 act option with e-axles, a uh, two-wheel drive option, both as just electric and a generator. So we're just specking that out, what it's gonna look like, putting the whole kit together, and then we're gonna re be releasing that in hopefully about a month. So that's gonna be exciting. The go-karts. Go-karts here are an exciting one. So we have ordered it and over 50 schools are actually getting sponsored. So. That's awesome. It is fantastic news. We're going to do 25 in Ontario, I think, 25 in BC or somewhere around there. I'm going to be going through that list of all the schools that signed up. Now there are over a hundred schools that signed up. So, but at least 50% of the schools now are going to be able to get sponsored. And that is exciting. Yeah. The go-kart kit, honestly, and that almost needs to be a separate video, but the go-kart kit. So the guy we got those um, parts from last time, you know, Alibaba, who we went to China, Message him, uh, we sent over the wire transfer for the kits last week, so the kits have been ordered. It's about six to eight weeks to ship them here. We'll receive the kits, hopefully, probably by the end of December, beginning of January, we'll get them, and I want them to the high school, hopefully no later than the end of January. We'll just get the kits here, they can come pick them up here, pick them up in Kamloops, Chilliwack, and then Georgetown, Ontario, for the Ontario teams. We'll get them and I'm gonna be 
basically today, I got to pick the schools that, for lack of a better word, won the contest. So 25 have been sponsored directly by a company, so they've already done. 25 are being sponsored by Edison Motors. So I've got to pick those guys out today, email them, let them know that they're sponsored, that they're going to be into the contest. And then I'll communicate with them how we're going to get the kit, how we're going to show up to the high school. The ones that raise the most money are going to be getting the kit. That's basically how we're going to pick them is that the schools that raise the most. So if a school raised $300, we'll get a kit before a school that raised $100. But I think we basically just said F and we ordered enough kits so that any school that raised money, I think, is going to get a kit. Don't quote me on that 100% because I can't remember exactly how much I haven't looked at it, but I think only like 10 schools, 15 schools raised donations. Like I say, it's not coming out of investor money. This is coming from the YouTube money that we make uh, off of our fans, people that subscribe, join our member only tiers. The money that comes from that is going directly into the school. We don't really keep, we're not keeping that as profit right now. It's just, that's what's funding it. So by watching these YouTubes, by getting our merch, we have new Edison merch, by the way, uh, new Topsy hats. We've got new DTF t-shirts. That's a cool project coming up here in a little bit. Uh, hoodies. Oh, and new hard hats too. People always wanted the uh, the new hard hats. We had the shiny one. The King of Bling himself did this one up for me. So not all of them come that shiny. This is a polished one, but kind of that old 1950s style hard hat. So we had these for limited edition for investor runs and people are like, where'd you get those? So we went to a supplier in China because China is the only place to get a 1950s safety equipment. It's actually cool. It is literally hard hats from the 1960s. You can't get that anymore because they're not safe. But China will do it. Do not wear the hard hat at work. It's a hard hat from the 1960s to the latest and greatest Chinese 1960s safety standards. And don't actually use it for work. And if you do and get hurt, that's on you. Uh, list of truck sales. We've got 11 other companies here that are still in the running. Two of which are done deals and three we're just talking with the other 11 and whatever one of these 11 kind of we come to the best deal. There's certain applications I like more than others but certain companies are a little bit slower to act than other companies. Now that I'm back, I'm gonna be focusing on that list over the next uh, two weeks here. Hopefully fi finalize the other deals by the end of November, first week or two of December, so. Overall, I gotta admit, it's gone really, really fantastic. This, while I was gone, I uh, trained some people up on how to do things, how to do the things I do, watch and monitor my emails, check things out, and there's been times before where, where I've left and I came back to a disaster after a week. This one, I was gone for two weeks and things went so well. I cannot get over how proud I am of these guys. We really, really are growing this. The whole team is working really well to the point where I can step out for a week or two and things didn't come down. And that's that makes me so happy to know that the company is strong behind us, so. I like your cup. Yeah, got it from Ukraine. A little tractor army. Oh shit, we got to call in four minutes. Okay, that's how busy things are, sorry. They were just sat down here and we literally have another phone call with actually one of those 11 companies. This company has a bunch of hydro vacs, so we're yeah. gonna talk with them. Hopefully we can get another deal signed here in five minutes. I don't know, but all in all, I gotta say, I'm, I'm really, really happy with uh, how everything's gone yeah. while I've been gone. I ran the fort while you were away, so. You did a good job, you did a good job. <laughs> Didn't burn the place down. No, no, I didn't get any panicked <laughs> phone calls, so. Okay, so went on a little trip to Ukraine, and I gotta admit, if you're thinking about visiting this place, highly recommend it, it is a beautiful country. To me, Ukraine feels like the stories that my grandparents used to tell me about Europe. Like, they told me stories of London and Paris and the place that they travel to, and now I've been to those places, they just feel touristy and overpopulated, they don't feel authentic. Ukraine has felt like authentic old world Europe. I would 100% come back here. It was a fantastic experience.